The Milkmaid and Her Bucket, an Aesop fable. Mary the milkmaid lived on a farm far from town. One morning, after milking the cows, Mary walked to the town market to sell the milk. The milk swished back and forth in the buckets as Mary walked. Mary started to think about what she would do with the money she made from the milk. She let her mind wander into daydreams. With the money I make from the milk, I will buy some chickens, she thought. I will sell the chicken eggs and make a lot more money. Then I will buy that beautiful dress I saw in the store window. Mary imagined herself wearing the pretty white dress with blue ribbons. Maybe she would buy a hat, too. She would glide down the street as graceful as a swan, and all the boys in town would want to talk to her. She imagined herself giggling as the boys fought each other for a chance to take her dancing. She had only made it halfway to the market, but her imagination was really running wild. In her daydream, there was a great castle in a big city. She wasn't wearing the white dress with blue ribbons, but was wearing a dress made of gold and diamonds. Her boyfriend wasn't a boy from town, but a tall prince. She closed her eyes and imagined dancing with the prince. Farmer Michaels looked out from his field and shook his head. There was that crazy Mary girl in the road twirling around in circles. The milk in the bucket swished and splashed as Mary twirled. Mary danced all the way into town. In her dream, she married the prince and became a beautiful princess. When she came back to her senses, she was standing at the market. Hello, Mary. What can I do for you today? said the storekeeper. I have milk to sell, Mary said. Mr. Williams looked down at Mary's buckets, but they were empty. Where's the milk? he asked. Mary had to walk all the way home with empty buckets and no money. She had spilled all the milk while dancing into town. Now she wouldn't be able to buy any chickens or sell any eggs. There would be no dress, no boyfriend, and no dancing with a prince in a big castle. When her mother heard what had happened, she said, Don't count your eggs before they are hatched. <laughs>